The title of this video is a little bit misleading because I labeled it as a upcycle recycle project. Unfortunately, we've had this in our house for about 15 years. My wife loves it. The kids do their homework on it, so we still have it. I've got some rough sawn walnut, some leftovers from another project, and we're going to use that. So here I am at the miter saw, just cutting down to the approximate length that I need. And we're next, we're going to go ahead and run it through the planer, which ended up having to go to about a little bit uh, under three quarter. I wanted to keep it at three quarter, but some of these pieces were pretty bad off because they were off cuts. And here you are, the kind of the basic layout. Now we're going to take our track saw and joint the edges. Now I do not have a jointer, so this is how I, I joint most of my uh, projects, is just with my track saw. Some closer shots here. Got a new camera, so kind of playing with uh, some depth of view, kind of things like that. I kind of like this shot quite a bit there. Again, just jointing everything. And then we're going to take it to the table saw and joint the other side. So I've got the fresh cut side against the fence, and then the new side against the kerf there. Now I'm making a little X approximately in the middle of this. I'm taking some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue a screw to it. Basically the head is going to be on there. This is not the exact dimension, but I want to get the rough shape here. So I'm just taking a ruler that I have a hole in and just kind of getting the rough diameter, which I think was 34. And since I used that hot glue, it just popped right off, didn't drill a hole in anything. Now I'm marking for some tenons. I'm going to use a, there you can see the marks, I'm going to use a domino as you see here. Not necessary but I've got it and it will straighten up any boards that may not quite be perfect. And next we're going to actually do the glue up and install the dominoes. Again this is not necessary but any boards that are not perfectly flat this will help me to achieve that. And what I've done with the dominoes, one side is the standard side which is right here that I'm gluing up. The other side is a little bit bigger, so there is some wiggle room. I can move it around and it can expand. Just continue pounding here. And here it is with some uh, blocks. I've actually got some steel on it to make it perfectly flat. And I'm actually taking the old top. I was going to make a circle cutting jig, but I thought, well, I've got the old top. So I'm screwing the old top to the actual new piece. As you'll see, me flip it over secure to the actual walnut and that is the bottom side that I screwed to. I didn't screw to the finished side. That's the bottom side. So this way I didn't have to make a jig and I can just use my router with a flush cutting bit and get the job done much quicker than making a jig or buying a jig or anything like that. Here we are and we're going to get a close-up shot of that. And again this is not uh, not quite as thick as I want it to be because some boards had some issues, but uh, it's certainly a, an improvement. You can see all the mess we've got there. Next, I'm going to sand down. Well, actually, I'm just taking a scotch brake and roughing up the surface on everything. It's just metal, and I'm taking some Krylon hammered finished paint, black, and just painting the table portion or the legs. And now I'm going to sand the top. Started out with uh, 120. Went to 150, 180, and then finally finished with a 220. And next we'll unscrew the old top from the new top. Again, this is on the bottom, and the screw holes line up perfectly for where I need to mount the new top to the legs. I take that off, and you'll see in a moment here, this just pops right off. I didn't have to glue it down, nothing. Made it quick and simple. I'm not going to do anything to the bottom. It's just going to be rough. And the top is nice and smooth. I should have maybe smoothed this out, but there was no sense in it. No reason to do it. And now we're going to move on to the chairs. Same process. Scuffed them down, painted them with Krylon. Now to the finish, which is the General Finishes Armor Finish. Used about five coats of this. Uh, and next, we move on to the bottoms. I will put a link in the description below of the video, separate video of this particular process. It's too long for this video. But this is essentially was my only cost in the project was $12 in vinyl material for the cushions. And that's it. I will also put a link in the description below to anything that I've used in the video if you're interested in purchasing those as well. Cutting off the excess here. And next we're going to move on to the actual finished product. And there it is. I think it turned out great. My wife, she thinks it's nice, but she misses her old blue set. Beat up blue 15-year-old piece of junk that we had. So, go figure. Anyway, 
If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.